एंड नमस्कार रिग्रेशन और लिनियर रिग्रेशन क्लासिकल अप्रोच एंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ केस वेयर द इंफॉर्मेशन अवेलेबल इज ओनली टू इक्वेशंस एंड समटाइम्स एनी वन ऑफ द वेरिएंस और स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन एंड फ्रॉम दिस मच इंफॉर्मेशन वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट ऑलमोस्ट एवरीथिंग the two coefficients of regression the coefficient of correlation the two means and the missing standard deviation or variance let's start in this kind of cases first of all we need to maintain some order there are two alternatives either to find out all the three coefficients from the two equation first and then go for finding the means and then at the last any missing standard deviation or variance or first to find out the two means by solving these two equations and then to find out all the three coefficients and then standard deviation or variance but to find out the missing standard deviation or variance we should have the coefficients of regression but i generally prefer first to find the coefficients then to means and then the variance or standard deviation which is missing so let's find out the three coefficients first of all we have to find out the two coefficients of regression for that we need to know which one is the equation of line of regression of y on x and which one is of x on y when there is no specific information about it generally first is taken as the equation of line of regression of y on x and the other one as of x on y mostly this assumption say proves to be true what is the verification point on the basis of these two lines we can find out the two coefficients of regression bx and bxy if both are greater than 1 if both have different sign positive negative then that is the verification or proof that our assumption was wrong and then we have to revert our assumption but on the basis of the experience of solving so many problems i can say that mostly the first is of y on x and the second is of x y of x on y so let us believe that this one is the line of regression of y on x and this one is of x on y so now we can find out the two coefficients of regression on the basis of this assumptions and on the basis of first let's find out first the coefficient of regression of y on x for that purpose we need to make y the subject of formula or equation that means minus 10y equals to minus 8x minus 66 and therefore 10y equals to 8x minus 66 that means y equals to 8x minus 66 by 10 that means 8x by 10 minus 66 by 10 so ultimately y equals to 0.8x minus 6.6 or y equals to minus 6.6 plus 0.8x now let's compare it with the standard form of the equation of line of regression of y on x that is a plus bx b stands for bxy rather bys and that is 8 here so we can say that in this case bys is 0.8 or precisely it is positive 0.8 now the second equation is obviously of of x on y and hence we need to make x the subject of formula x will be 18y plus 214 divided by 40 therefore x will be 18y divided by 40 plus 214 upon 40 that means x equals to 0.45y plus 5.35 Okay, that means x equals to 5.35 plus 0.45 y. Now compare it with the standard form, and that is c plus b y, where b stands for b x y, 
and that means B is 0.45 so we can say that BXY is 0.45 now verification both of them are less than 1 and both of them have the same sign that means our assumption was correct so now we can move to find out the coefficient of correlation the square value of the coefficient of correlation is the product of the two coefficients of regression so it is 0 0.8 into 0 0.45 it is 0.36 but it is square value so we need to find out its square root so it is either positive or negative 0 0.6 now we know that there is a very important property the sign of all the three coefficients is always same since the coefficients of regression are positive the coefficient of correlation must be positive so the coefficient of correlation is positive 0.6 in this way we have all the three coefficients now we can move forward to find out the two means and that's very easy we have to just solve these two equations and by solving we can have the values of x and y they are respectively the values of means x bar and y bar let's solve and for that purpose we are going to use the elimination technique in this case it is 40x in this case it is 8x so first of all we are going to multiply this equation by 5 8x minus 10y plus 66 equals to 0 multiplied by 5 will be 8x sorry not 8x I'm very sorry 8 into 5 40x minus 50y plus 330 equals to 0 40x minus 50y equals to minus 330 now in this case it is also 40x so we are going to subtract this equation from this one we are going to subtract it first we are going to write it as it is now because of subtraction the role of minus sign becomes very important this is originally positive but minus sign will be multiplied with the positive sign so it will become negative this is originally negative and negative into negative will be positive this is positive positive into negative will be negative so now we can cancel positive 40x and negative 40x minus 50y plus 18y that is minus 32y minus 330 minus 240 is minus 544 so y equals to minus 544 divided by minus 32 that is positive 17 and y is nothing it is mean of y or y bar 17 <coughs> we have this formula of x x equals to 5.35 plus 0.45 y if we substitute y bar mean of y in this equation the result will be mean of x or x bar that means x bar equals to 5.35 plus 0.45 y bar that is 5.35 plus 0.45 into 17 that is 5.35 plus 7.65 so x bar comes to 13 so ultimately on the basis of just two equations we found the coefficients of regression and coefficient of correlation and what the means just on the basis of two equations of the lines of regression now we have another information that is v variance of y variance of y is given to be 16 that means standard deviation of y is square root of 16 that is 4 so now we have standard deviation of y and both the coefficients of regression we can use any one of these two and this standard deviation and coefficient of correlation to find out the missing standard deviation let's take say bxy that is coefficient of correlation into sx upon sy 
Now let's substitute the available information. BXY is 0.45. Coefficient of correlation is 0.6. SX is missing. And SY is 4. So now this is nothing but the case of cross multiplication. 0.45 into 4 divided by 0.6 equals to SX. So 0.45 into 4 is 1.8 divided by 0.6 equals to sx it is something like 18 divided by 6 if we multiply numerator as well as denominator by 10 it is and hence we can say that standard deviation of x in this particular case is 3 so in this way on the basis of the information available about variance of y and the two lines of regression we ultimately found six different things. Coefficient of regression of y on x, coefficient of regression of x on y, coefficient of correlation y bar, x bar and standard deviation of x. So far as the examinations are concerned, this is very important question. Many a times this kind of questions are asked in the boards and university examinations. That's it. Thank you very much.